everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, I have a deck for you this week for the leagues, which is starting energy 40, uh, 20 energy a turn, axe energy 100, we don't need to worry about that. Um, so, the deck I have for you is this one. It's a full science deck. Taking advantage of the mecha, of course. Brilliant card. Uh, so first up, we have the Linux Kernel. Great card. It played next to any science cards. Your science cards, wherever they are, gain 15 for three turns. Repeat for each, each album, which doesn't apply to this deck. Um, still a great card, either way. And if your deck only has science cards, your cards, wherever they are, gain 10 for three turns. Brilliant card. Next up, we have a fusion card, right flyer. Uh, first turn of the round, gain plus five. It's It can come in handy sometimes, and uh, not so much this week. Next up, we have Leonardo da Vinci. So your science cards in hand gain 26 until played. Fairly self-explanatory for this deck. Next up, we have a newer card, the Flying Scotsman. So for every round completed this game, gain 30 this turn. Uh, this card costs plus one permanently, but again, we have a lot of energy this week, so we don't need to worry about that. Six for 60, it's a decent card. Next up, we have the core of the deck, the Awesome Aviation. So I went with Charles, Lind Charles Lindbergh. If you're losing the round, your cards in hand gain 35 this turn. Uh, situational, but a solid card. Next up, we have Air Force One. So when it goes back to the deck, your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, cost minus two until played. It, it has been useful in the past. I I think it's worth a try this week. It can help manage the energy because it does get quite high with this deck, as we'll see later on. Next up, we have another awesome aviation, Sonic Boom. Your opponent's brilliant human body cards and superstructures cost plus two for, for two turns. That's on the draw. It can come in handy sometimes, but not really applicable for us. But on the return, your Awesome Aviation cards gain plus 8 permanently wherever they are. So, a little bit of power builds every time you play it. So we want to get that guy around as fast as possible. Next up, we have a limited legendary, Barnstorming. So on the draw, your Awesome Aviation cards wherever they are gain plus 15 until played. So we want to get this guy around as quick as possible. And uh, the card opposite this loses 50 this turn, very good ability. And your remaining awesome aviation cards in hand lose minus 5 permanently. That's a negative, but it doesn't always happen. Next up, we have a great card, another limited legendary, Doppler Effect. On the draw, your science cards in hand gain plus 30 and cost minus 1 for 2 turns. That can help manage our energy, because again, it does get a little bit of hand sometimes. And then on the return, your remaining science cards in hand lose 15 permanently. It, um, yeah, it's, it's not a great return, but um, it's worth it altogether. Next up, we have another awesome aviation, the Night Witches. This card loses 44 until played. But we have 4 for 88. Well worth playing, well worth playing. Next up, we have another awesome aviation. Concord. If you're winning the round, the card gains 20. Very simple card. 7 for 70. Gets its boosts from the rest of the deck. Solid. Next up, we have the Behemoth. Mecha. This one is a mythic. It was quite hard to get for me. I had to trade a lot for it. But on the play, this if your deck only contains science cards, your science cards, wherever they are, gain 20. So that's plus 20 to every card in the deck. You can't complain at that. 
You, and on the return, your science cards, wherever they are, cost plus one permanently. Uh, so that really does ramp up the mana or the uh, the energy. Next up, we have Monte Golfer Balloon. So this is another. This is a combo card. You want to play this with the right flyer. So. Uh, on the return, your right flyer card, wherever it is, costs minus four until played. But on the play, your right flyer in hand gains 72 this turn. So we want to hold this, either one of them, until we have both of them in hand to play, ideally. Next up, we have a limited epic. Siege Tower. Your cards in hand gain 32 power and cost plus two energy until played. That's That's a big boost. And uh, the energy, as you can see, it ramps up. Next up, we have a fusion, Albert Einstein. Your science card in, on the draw, your science cards in hand gain 35 this turn. Another solid card. Fairly weak power, but it's okay. Next up, we have another limited legendary, Dark Web. So on the play, for each card in your opponent's deck with base power of 50 or more, to a maximum of four, your cards in hand, wherever they are, with 50 base power or more, gain plus four permanently. And with all the energy this week, everybody's playing big cards, so you're nearly guaranteed plus 16. Now, the second last card, we have Jet Car. So, on the play, your cards adjacent to this gain plus 80 this turn. And then on the return, you lose minus 40 for three turns. But it's a great card, card to assure a win in the round if you're worried. And last up, we have Antimatter. Three for 150. But on the play, this card loses 150, and the card opposite loses 150. Cheap, solid card. Nearly guaranteed to hit something good. So that's the deck. We will give it a play. Right now I'm in rank 5. I have, I think I've only lost one or two games. Um, so this deck has been doing very well for me. So let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, find an opponent quickly and we will get wrapped up. I think we stand a good chance this week of getting into Division 1. There might be a bit of tweaking to do. Uh, sometimes I find I have a little energy left over so might be worth looking into some more powerful cards to replace some of the weaker ones um but for now we'll keep playing um so this will be the first video on the channel so i hope you guys will ignore the quality and uh, try and enjoy the content so first up we got our big boost so i think we want to get dark web out get that around quickly and the siege tower and probably charles Lindbergh. we'll save the antimatter because there won't be too powerful stuff on the first turn um what's our opponent thridian I think this might be a bot, so probably will be a easy win for us, but um, we'll give it a try anyway. So I think we'll get Sonic Boom out because of the plus eight permanently. We want to get that around quickly. Then we'll go with the Concord and I think Albert Einstein. We want to save that right flyer, ideally for the first turn of a round, but if we have to use it, it is, it's a quite a powerhouse in its own. We will use it if we need to. But I don't think we'll need to. There's our flying Scotsman. I'd really rather not play that. So I'm going to take a risk and play two cards. Looks like it paid off this time. I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time, but against bots, 
yeah, you're you're safe enough doing making cheeky plays. All right, round two, the curious cuisine. So I think we'll go with the Scotsman in front. The Linux kernel, we want to get that round next. And I think I'll save the Jack here for if we need it. So I will play the Antimatter. Oh, it looks like Antimatter hit something good. So um, it's good, great for us. Now on the return, the Linux kernel will give a plus 10 boost to everything. There's the big boy now, Mecha. So I think we want to get him around. And we will get this around. And a Da Vinci in the back for a nice 450. It's a strong turn. Push. That's why I saved Jack Carr. So I think we can win this round. Oh yes, I am pretty sure this will be a victory. It's quite close, but I think we have it. Now, if that were a real player, things might be a different story, but uh, we got lucky. There's the Charles Lindbergh again. Sometimes it can be a bit of a miss. Well, I think we'll go like this. Well, it gets a little on the opponent, but I think we have a chance at winning this round. The minus 40 a turn is not great for us, but I think we can push through. There's the boost from Albert. So I think I will try and go for the win. That's... Not a great turn for the opponent. And I think we have this one in the bag. I think the Flying Scotsman should be coming around. So it's a very strong card. So we'll go with this. Not our strongest hand, but I think it's enough. And there we have it. A victory for the science deck. So, I hope you all enjoyed the content. Um, please like and share if you did. And um, I'll come to you again with another video.